Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% playthrough for The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. We are on part number 31 and it is time to jump in to the main mission for chapter 3. And given all the uh, nice little story bits we had in chapter 2, I'm really looking forward to this one. Like, we, we could end up getting some really exciting bits of information. Especially since, uh, well, we finally got a hold of Gaius in the last episode. Wait, last episode? Last chapter. So, well, he should be one of the characters this time, which I'm really looking forward to, along with Eusus as well. Though my wings have been stolen and my blade lost, I yet have the gun and the rose. Okay, so it seems like the main camp has kind of stole my airship. God damn them. And there it is, Lamar. Man, I really don't like Major Michael. I don't like him at all. Okay, so straight off the bat, we're going to go ahead and go back to car number one for a character note update with Pablo. Hey Pablo, how you doing buddy? I want that character note man, I want that character note. There we go. Now we can move on to car number two where we need to talk to Michael, who is in car number 2A. Let's go. Man, get off the phone, buddy. Hmm, who's showing up?
Okay. Now that we spoke to Michael, we can move on to car number three. And before that, though, we're going to take a shower just for the CP. Oh, this... Get Rain all the way back up to 200 oh, CP. This... And one other thing we can do is, because we got the True Gladiator headband again, uh, from the uh, doo -doo -doo quest report, my god, I really am losing my words. We can basically equip that if we wanted, but it's only auto CP up, which is 4 per turn. It's not really that great, to be fair. It's, uh, well, yeah. The better ones are definitely the headbands, simply due to the fact that they give you a percentage increase, which work really, really, really well with the Bridged Quartz, which basically gives more CP every turn as well. The only difference is it's 16 per enemy killed. So, you know, mop up uh, five or six enemies and you can use an S-Craft again. Now, when that actually reaches level 7, it should be 20 CP per enemy killed. So, any enemy with five mobs, we can pretty much just get another 100 CP back straight away, allowing Rain to S-Craft yet again. Anywho, with that said, let us move on, shall we? We're going to call number 3 now to talk to Kurt. And Altina, but main, mainly Kurt. Hey Kurt, buddy, how you doing? Okay, and uh, we need to have a second conversation with Kurt, which will give us a character note profile for him. Okay, so now that we've got that character note, it is time to go ahead and play with Ultina. But first we have to talk to her so that we can actually play a match of cards with her. Okay, let's play a game. And we're just going to use the basic deck still pretty much. Oh, she uses a sister card. This is probably going to be an easy match then. Okay, well we don't need two Blexies and the Reku is kind of bad, so I'm just going to change all three of them. Hmm. Okay, first things first. We're going to move that onto the Magic Crystal. Use the blaze card on it. Uh, and I guess we'll summon that as well. So let's get some attacks going, shall we? So straight off the bat, I've already done some decent damage there. And three Blexies. Great. Not very useful. Not very useful. Okay. Okay. Well, there's a little more damage on the sister card, I guess. And uh, now we'll just get the Blixies down. And also that, I guess. Also that. Okay, so straight off the bat, I'm going to kill that one with one Blix. 
And then I'm gonna go town on the sister. And then... No, I can't move my cards anymore, can I? Okay, we'll just end two in that. And... Yeah, we've won this now, we've won this. So, just attack of that. And then we'll use the two Blexies to finish it off. Mm, Easy. And winning that gives us three Vanish cards and also some bonding points. Okay, now that we've done that with Tina, we can move on to the next car for an event with Muse. And here she is as soon as you go in the door. get fired. Anyway, after the nice little conversation with Muse, head on over to car 5 for an event with Toa. Okay, last but not least, we have to go to car number six for an event with Ash. So his mother died, even without much talking he did about her in the last video. Hmm, his mum's job. Okay, with that event over, we are done with all the events on this the train. This is Star Car 1, calling all Branch Campus students. We are scheduled to arrive at the field exercise grounds at 5.40 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please make sure you go to bed early and get ready for tomorrow. Okay, now that's also a hint that it's bedtime, so we gotta go all the way back to car number two. And then we can take a nice relaxing rest in Reen's room. Now, we don't need to uh, make any more rounds because we've done everything, so we can just go ahead and rest. Hey Tower. Yeah, you, you wanna join me?
Huh. It's quite the sight. <laughs> you wake up early for a pretty boy. I train in the mornings, so this is normal for me. The Canyon City Raquel. It's a key hub connecting to Jirai, if I recall. You mean the Entertainment City, Raquel. That light you see out there is fueled by Mira, passion, and desire. But I guess I don't hate it. The light of sinful pleasure engulfed by the coming dawn. <laughs> How elegant. I can't read her intentions at all. Just like with Ash, if she becomes an issue for Instructor Reen and the others. Wait, not just Instructor Reen? Why am I concerned about Yuna and Kurt too? <laughs> what? Uh, are we there already? We're still two stops away. It's currently 0455. You should go back to sleep. Okay, got it. Well, in that case, you be my pillow, Ally. Huh? Yuna, I can't breathe. Mm, I guess. Mm -hmm. Estelle, Joshua. Oh, and... she had to name the authors. It would have been funny <laughs> if she just kept it to Zagat. And Michael still being a hard ass. Oh well, I guess that's uh, just the military type for you. And here we are, the EX camp, right next to the naval fortress. Oh, we got an extra bike. Some uh, costumes as well, eh? And there's Ashley's ass craft. Nice. 
And of course we did get some thank you messages. So let's talk to Fee. Okay. Now, did I send all the gifts off last time? I did, yes. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk to Stark because we have another uh, book to buy. Where are you, Stark? Where are you? And uh, do, 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 do. there you are. So, oh, check out the limited Gotta restock. Stock. What have we got here? Uh, this is uh, from the student store, isn't it? So we don't really need to do anything with that. So Come again. we're Gotta just going to go into the normal shop and buy the Imperial Chronicle issue number six. And then it's just your basic items there if you need any. I am going to get some more battle scopes though because I'm running really low on them. Come again. Okay. Now that we've got them, we can go ahead and go to Pablo. Uh, where are you, Pablo? There he is. Because Pablo is selling Pablo some see. new weapons for us, which obviously we are going to buy. And we're just going to get them for everybody here. And Muse and Ash. Okay. Hmm. The armor isn't great. No, yeah, the armor isn't great, so uh, we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. Okay. See ya. And we can also <laughs> strengthen Thanks. them here as well. Which, of course, needless to say, I am definitely going to do. Because, hey man, str stronger weapons, you know? Stronger weapons. There we go. Okay, so they're all done now. And boom, look at that damage. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there for some good high stats. Anyway, after that, we can go into car number five. Well, technically, we have to go into car number four and then walk into five, but you guys get it. You guys get it. Because we can buy a new Master Quartz from Tita. Okay, so yes. once again, we can buy the Master Quartz of Beowulf from Tito, which is Offensive Art Increase CP. Uh, but while it's not that amazing, I mean, it would go well with Reen's... Uh, well, it would go well on Reen with something like Bridget, which, you know what, I'm actually going to I'm actually gonna use them both like that. Thanks! Along with the headband, that should be able to give me pretty much infinite CP with rain. Uh, I'm also going to change that to... I should have a 30% CP one. Should do anyway. Yep, Gladiator headband for 30 CP. And then we'll change his quartz around. Kaleido can go to... We'll have Bridget as the main. And then we'll have Kaleido swapped with Beowulf. And again... Oh wait, no, that's only when damaged. Okay, so we'll go that one. And again, no, I'd, I'd rather actually keep the XP, I guess. Yeah, I'd rather keep the XP. Hmm. I want to swap them back around, actually. I want the XP boost on Rain. And then we'll change Oberon to Kaleido. So now we have that one double learning. Scold can go to Brigid. And then we'll just work on leveling all the others up. Okay, and with that we're pretty much done, other than we have to pick up a quest. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to talk to Gustav on the main map, and here he is. Now, what to do?
Okay, so now that we have that quest, let's go, shall we? Now, we can't, obviously can't complete that quest just yet. It is going to take a while yet. And we'll also be turning it in on the next day when we're here. So, with that said, it's time to leave the base. So, let's go. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, it's going to take us a little bit of time to complete that quest. It's not difficult, we just don't have access to the areas just yet. We can get one of the items in this area, but we can't get the other one for a while. Okay. So, let's get a move on, shall we? Now, we are currently in Highway 2, and we do basically have to go down to Highway 1. But, well, we're going to have a few things to do here, so let's go exploring, shall we? First order of business, though, is fights. Everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, now, one thing I should note out is these Kijimon, they do not have an encounter on their own. They will only, well, you can only fight them in other battles. So, do yeah. make sure you manage to get a battle scope off on one of these right. guys. Okay, with that said though, let's go ahead and scope out all the others. Oh, it looks like I'm going to get go. some good sepi from this fight, actually. It yeah. is looking that way. My turn. Okay, there. I'm going to wait a second and use Reen's turn to kill them because of the sepi fall. And of course, we're gonna ask craft as well. My blade. No. I should get quite a bit of sap. Let's that. go. And of course, we have another new enemy, the round butterfly. Is this one any good? Oh no, no, don't. They don't really give anything. It's my turn. Oh well, I am gonna change my links though because I want uh, green links with Yuna. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it's just a case of slaughtering everything. Get him, instructor! Very well. Yeah. Let's go. Easy. It's down! It's mine! That was perfect! And we got a nice big bonus of 2.9 there. The XP was pretty good, man. Pretty Wow, look at that Master Quartz XP. 628. That's Pretty good, that's pretty good, man. Okay. And we got a huge amount of sappy. Hold oh, down. That's a lot. Alright, got it. Yeah, I must This train. might be a really good grinding spot to be fair. Like are all the enemies gonna be this good? Let's see, shall we? Uh, no, I can't drag him to another yeah. enemy. Brace yourself. I suppose I could it's technically down. drag all three of them there to a fight, maybe? For an even bigger bonus? I'm not sure, I'm not all sure. Right. Nice work. It's possible. Hmm, the XP that time wasn't that great, but the butterflies are probably the worst enemy here. Anywho, there is going to be a treasure chest just up here. But once again, we are going to no drag down. everyone it's together. Yeah. Let's go. And we've already got them scanned. That's fine. So we're gonna S craft them with Rain again. My blade. My turn. Oh man, we didn't kill everyone. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Dude, can you like not breathe yeah. at me like yeah. that? It's not nice. It's my turn. Okay, and we have a new enemy. We have the creepy sheeps. So of course we're gonna scan them yeah. too. And now we're just going to slaughter them all. Because that's what we do, guys. That's what we do. We slaughter creepy sheep. Mm, no, I'm not going to hit all three. So we'll just attack. Let's go. Yeah. I'm up. Sit. One more to go. It's my turn. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Mm, that XP wasn't terrible either, to be fair. Neither was the Sapu. Stats updated. Okay. Now I am just gonna get this treasure, treasure chest. Located. Which is an energy bandana. 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, we cannot actually proceed further up to the north. Yeah, so we can't go to the north just yet. That's fine, don't worry about it. We are going to go that way later as part of the story. So for now, we're just going to head down to the south. Before that, though, I am going to change everybody's quartiers. So all the normal quartiers, I'm literally just going to remove all for everybody. Okay. And last but not least, I'm also going to take old Tina out of the party, and I'm going to put Ash in. And no, so I'm going to put Muse in. I'm going to put Muse in. Okay, so now we can go ahead and equip the quartz. Now for this, I'm just going to auto-equip with a prioritizing on physical damage. So let's just do that. Okay, so now that they've all equipped out... Now that I've done that, I'm actually going to slowly change them over. So Defense 3, for example, I'm going to take that one off for Septium Vein. And I am going to give everybody Septium Vein as well. So Defense 1 can come off. And I'm basically going to be taking off the uh, the worst abilities for them. So in this case, it's pretty much always going to be Defense. And one more. Okay. There we go. Last but not least, I am going to change a few more abilities as well. Hmm. <laughs> I don't really need that. Uh, do I have anything else that's really good? could come in handy. Boost attack slash craft use deals 50% damage. That would be nice. That would be nice for me and that would. Okay. And then I am also going to change. Uh, let me see if I can give it to Muse and it'll still work. We'll take Speed Breaker off. Oh, yeah, we'll take Speed Breaker off. Okay, now I just need to find it. The one I want... Ah, uh, well, yes, I should probably have Moon Lens on as well, actually. So I'll put that one on, and then I'll change Nightmare. Okay. Now, the one I'm looking for is the one that makes enemies come to me. I think it might be a Wind. Yes, Scent. There it is. So we'll go ahead and equip that. And let's just see. Yeah, it's still working just fine. Okay, so let's carry on, shall we? All right. Very well. I'm going. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> we'll shoot you, now, buddy. Bring it on. Anyway, let's try this with rain. All right. Nice work. Okay, so I think that actually recovered all this CP, and that was only on three enemies as well. It's my turn. Anyway, with that said, let's move on to the next highway, shall we? Okay, highway number one. So, let's see, what do we got here? Well, we do have three enemies there that we can chain up with a treasure let's take chest. A right here. Let's just go ahead and chain them, though. Come on, guys, come on. No, they don't now, want to come. Bring it on. Oh well. Oh well. What can we do? There. Very well. Okay. Oh, I can't ask craft of rain, unfortunately. Oh well. We'll just have to do it with uh, Kurt, I Behold. guess. There's more. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, he's on 86. How much CP is this going to get? 60. So I'm getting 20 okay? per enemy there. Not bad, not bad. A lot of link levels. And good sapif again, actually. Really good sapif. Yeah, I... Might be nice grinding around here. Definitely might be nice to grind around here. Anywho, there is a treasure chest, which is blue hair for old Tina. And then all the way up here, well, aside from the fact there's another double go. battle we can easily get. 
Let's go. Mm, we'll just attack normally here. It's my turn. And then we'll S craft with you know because of the sappy this four. Oh, more guests. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going. Yeah. Now's our chance. Yeah, we'll just boost oh. this one. This is Easy. the power of love. Oh, a 3.4 booster. Nice. Yeah, pretty decent XP there. Pretty decent. And Sirius leveled up to level 5. Well, that's not a very good quartz. Again, begin battlefield with inside status. That's not bad, actually. That's really not bad. And Seppi wasn't train. that great that time. Although I did get a cast 2 drop. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Anyway, moving on, you will have a marker on the map here, and this is actually for the quest that we just got. Oh, it's not even letting me go there. Oh, damn it. Well, that little uh, icon there is for the Saltpeter, which is for the quest with Gustav that we just picked up. But, well, I guess we'll have to leave it for now and just move on to the uh, the base, the fortress. So, let's do that, shall we? Up we go. Wait, that looks like the fortress from the tutorial. Like, that definitely looks like the fortress in the tutorial. Okay, so let's carry on moving, shall we? And of course, nothing on the way, so we're just going to go all the way up. Man, where did Rean get his license from? He's swerving all over the place. How can you be a soldier and not know who Reen is? Okay, and into the fortress we go. Right. Let him in. Hey, that's Claire. Oh, and Patrick. 
Entirely by chance, I assure you. It's good to see you, Reen. And Class 7, too. No, he has a point. I've heard about you two. You're the new members of Class 7, aren't you? Ash Carbide and Musée Egret. I came here to discuss security measures for the Imperial Provincial Council. But we've just finished our meeting, so I should be on my way. If you would excuse me, Brigadier General, Patrick. Of course. Thank you for your time. Do remember to keep a close eye on the Marquis. Yes, understood. I'd heard the rumors, but it seems the crossbell situation is more chaotic than I'd even imagined. You have no idea, dude. You have no idea. <laughs> Half a year, right? Back at the Northern War Victory Celebration. I don't know. The last time I remember you was when we fought in Cold Steel 2. Wallace Bardius at your service. I lead the Unified Regions Army, and I'd like to welcome you to La Mer, New Class 7. <laughs> Seems like General Le Guin's really got your nose to the grindstone. Okay, so with that cutscene out of the way, we can finally continue on. So let's go, shall we? Do first things first, we've got to head back to the highway, which means a very, very long drive down the path.
Okay, now that the little cutscene's over, we can finally continue on, the which means we can actually go like ahead I and get the salt pizza for production. the quest. So for this one, you basically you just need to hulk at the mounting, you used to ride and your bike as you'll everywhere. see, you can see some little white Damn. bits with yellow Never on there, and that's basically where George. you need to interact with. We just need to wait for this dialogue to finish, there we go, and we can get the salt pizza. This is for Gustav's quest that we got way back at the base. So that's one of the two items down, however we still can't finish the quest just yet, so let's continue on. Now obviously there are a few enemies here, I'm not going to fight them just yet, instead we're going to continue on. And yes the path does split down there, we'll be heading down there soon. First things first though, we're going to get a landscape photo which is just here. And there's the photo taken, so we're going to send that one straight to Vivi. So green. Now, let's see. Oh, wow. And there I'll we go. Okay, so now that we've updated Reen, we can backtrack a little bit, head on down the fork that we missed, and there is going to be a treasure chest, which does contain <laughs> a silver bell. Okay, now this little spot here is actually really, really, really good for grinding because you can actually get a five-way battle in it. And, uh, well, needless to say, five-way battle, you're going to get some nice XP. So, let's just see how much we get, shall we? And we're going to S-Craft with Rain here. Oh, more guests! And only two of them this time. Oh, man. Now! It's oh well, oh Let's well. Go. Behold the Vander style. Wait, why did that only give me a three? That should have been a five. I mean, we're definitely all close enough. Oh dear, from behind. And of course they got me from behind. Okay, let's just auto battle My that. Turn. Oh no, I can't auto battle. Rain got confused. I need to heal him. Uh... Let's just use a Curia Ball on him. Thanks. There. Oh, God damn it, Yuna. Yes. God damn it. Okay, uh, we'll use another Curia Ball on Yuna. And then we'll heal Ultina. Let's go. And then again, no, we won't heal Ultina. We'll just kill them off. We'll kill these huh. sheep off. I'm going. Yeah. Oh, more guests. Right. Okay, now we'll ask craft. Nice, we did it. Easy, terrible XP though, and of course Ultina was dead for that. It's gold level up though. Yeah, still nothing good though. Still nothing good. Ooh, auto HP regen though. Hmm. And Sephiroth was pretty bad there too. Okay, well let's move on. Yeah, can I join these? Can I join Let's them? I this. can join them. Okay, so five enemies, 94 CP, 88. So I Yuna, still now. couldn't quite fully yes, get a CP. There's more. All right. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. yeah okay. our chance. An opening. Stay down. My turn. Yes. Yeah. Like I really want to get to where yeah. Reen is like completely self-sufficient on SP. Is that all? And yeah, I suppose I should probably right. revive Ultina so she continues getting the EXP. Uh, Orbiment, no, not Orbiment, I want items. And we'll use... Yeah, we'll just use a Select... No, not a Celestia, we'll use a Reviving Bomb. There we go. Okay, with that said, let's continue on along the path, shall we? Yeah, can I chain any of these? Uh, come on. Come on. There Let's we go. Start the battle. Uh, can I hit them all with that? No, I can hit three of them. Well, one, four, five. Here I go. Yeah, okay, so that one managed to uh, yeah. Very well. give me positive more CP. Here I go. Yeah. I'm up. Sick. Let's go. Eight yeah, down. Well. Keep it up. You're quite the shot. <laughs> I'll oh, do my best yeah, to support you. Yeah, kind of fallen now. And so is the Seppi, unfortunately. Ooh, well. 
Yeah, well. Okay, so we're just going to continue on along the path for another treasure chest. And this one contains 50 of every sappy. Now, come here, you. I want to mix you up. No there mercy. we go. And... Yeah, I think that's for everyone. Fire! And then we'll kill everyone with Reen's S craft. There's more! Alright! And. Oh, Reen managed to uh, get 108 CP back from that. So we can S craft with him again. There we go. Everyone okay? And pretty decent XP that time. Pretty decent XP indeed. As for the Master Quartzies, Kaleido and Bridget are getting that level 6, so hopefully it won't be too much longer for that. A good amount of Sappy for Gan as well, to be fair. That's yeah, quite a decent I amount. I, must <laughs> I, I mean, it's going to be the next chapter where I basically spend all of it to really go ham on my, uh, my court, basically. Anyway, we're going to continue on and we're going to hit another fork at the bottom here. We want to head towards the east, which is this little bit over here. Because as you just saw, there's another treasure chest over there. So let's go, shall we? And here we are. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Calvary Edge. Oh, which is Calvary Edge rare. Now, let's get a drink battle going here. This. Let's go. There. Music. I'm up. Ha. I'm going. Yeah. There's more. I'm up. Oh, yeah, Reen still can't do it, man. He still can't do it. It's down. It's mine. This is it. Very well. Ha. I'm going. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Too slow. You're I got good the XP shot. there. <laughs> I'll do my best yeah, to support acceptable. you. Acceptable. Acceptable. Oh, Vigor reached level five. Ah, that's the art one. That's the art one. Uh, Sappy was kind of meh that time. Not really all that impressive, to be honest. Oh well, what can we do? So, we're going to backtrack all the way now. Hopefully I can lure these three together. No, I guess not. Well, now I can lure two go. of them at least. I can at least get two of them. There's more! I'm up! Now! And yeah, we'll just Let's boost to finish off. Very well. Oh man, I really wanted a nice big boost. Is that, that all? Oh well. Yeah, Sappy was really bad there. To be fair, really, really, really bad. Anywho, with that said, it is time to finish up this area and just head on over to the exit. So we're gonna go all the way to the west. We did finally make it. Over there, that's Ordis. I know it's Ordis. We're going there right now. Wow, it's so beautiful. And so huge! Yeah. This is my first time here, so I had no idea what to expect. I've been here many times on missions. Looking at this view, I can see why Ordis is so famous. Damn, it's almost annoying how scenic this place is. Oh, you say that, but I can tell you're happy to be here. Boasting a population of 460,000, the port city of Ordis is three times the size of St. Ark. It's also the font from which House Kayan, head of the four great houses, and largest noble family in Erebonia, draws their wealth. However, since the Civil War, there have been certain issues. Huh? What do you... Hmm. Well, we can learn more about the city through our special ops missions. Patrick, will you be returning to the Duke's mansion? 
I will. Given that I seem to be the resident caretaker now. Oh yes, and I've heard from Eusis. He should arrive this evening. On House Alborea's private airship, no less. I see. Would you tell him to give me a call when he gets in? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Reen. New Class 7. I wish you all the best of luck with your missions in La Mer. Though, if you do find yourself in trouble, don't hesitate to call on me. Uh, oh, thank you. We will try to live up to your expectations. Okay, and here are all the requests for this chapter. So let's take a look, shall we? We have the required one, which is another monster hunt. And then we have the optionals, which of course we will be doing them all. Because there is going to be a huge amount of AP for them. So, first of all, we have the monster which gives free, and then all three of these. Well, they reward free AP normally, however, they do have side objectives, which each reward two AP. So, for example, we can get free AP from the top one, and then we can get five AP from each of the bottom three, leading up to a total of 18 AP. Needless to say, we're going to get them all. Welcome to the capital of the La Mer province and the western coast's most renowned seaport, the port city, Ortis. Okay, so we now have full control in Ordis. However, we are going to be doing that in the next one, everybody, because this is why I'm ending this part. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you're new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, because there's going to be so many optional things that we need to do coming up. But, like always, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.